It's time to find out about the history of top K-pop artists and groups. And learn more about their hit songs and the stories related to them. So get ready for a wonderful music journey with me, Lim. And me, Berlin, on Born, Born to Rock the Mic. Mic. So hi, Berlin. Hi, Lim. So unfortunately, Tasha couldn't make it here today right. because of her schedule. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about being here on this segment today? You know what, Lim? I've always wanted to host an English program. Really? And it's a great pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you. And hey, Tasha, don't worry. I'll do well. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, well, have some fun. Let's have some fun today. Shall Absolutely. We? <laughs> I'll do my best. Well, you know, these days, many of the veteran singers are producing the albums for many idol groups. Right. Um, for instance, M Black's album was produced by singer and actor Rain, Smash's album by Tony An from HOT, and Stella's album by Eric from Shinoa. All right, right. And also, Hani from Fly to the Sky also produced the album for the boy group My Name, and Ihuri produced the latest album for Speak Up. And the group they will focus today was discovered and had their albums produced by Andy from Shinoa as well. I'm sure you, you already know who we're talking about. Well, let's find out who we're going to focus on today on Born to Rock the Mic. Today, we'll focus on the boy band Teen Top that's known for their perfectly sync group dance moves. That's right. They recently released their fourth mini album, Teen Top Class and is living up to their reputation as the group that dances in sync with the title song, Rocky. Right, and they're receiving an, an explosive response for their dance moves called the Free Step. It is incredible how they dance so perfectly well together. You know, I'm sure it's all because they work so hard. You know, member Chang Jo, um, he actually tore his ligament after practicing the dance choreography for so hard. Oh my god, really? Really? Well, I'm glad to hear that they're practicing really hard, but I hope they'll be more careful because, especially because their fans must be really worried about them. <laughs> now, why don't we take a look at the albums released by Teen Top since their debut? Teen Top entered the K-pop scene with the first mini album released in 2010 titled Coming to the World. Now, as we mentioned earlier, this group was produced by Andy from Shinoa and they gained a lot of attention right from the start. That's right, Teen Top was made up of six members just like Shinoa and they caught everyone's attention with their title track Clap that had an incredible performance routine. That's right, this song was really catchy with a very powerful clapping sound and rhythm. Did you know that Lizzie from After School actually appeared in the music video for Clap as a female lead? And if you didn't know that, now you know. So please check it out. Well, after leaving a strong impression on the K-pop fans with their debut song, Clap, they returned with their second single album, Transform. That's right. They returned with the dance song with a trendy pop sound titled Super Love. And they transformed into, into intense cyber warriors with their dyed hair and two-tone hairstyles. Right. And the key dance to this song was the Matrix dance. <laughs> Where, you know, the members, um, Ricky, leaned back almost 180 degrees. Right. I remember. That was so impressive. Right. It was truly reminiscent of the famous scene of the Matrix. Right. And the lyrics to this song were actually written by singer Wee Song. Mm. You know, come to think of it, Wee Song has written so many hit songs, huh? I know, like <laughs> he has written songs for so many people and groups such as Orange Caramels, Aying and Ailey Heavens, Gina's Top Girl and Tiara's Crazy Cause of You. And they were all written by him. Right. Wee Song was recently discharged from the military. Oh. And I love to see him back on stage again. Yes, me too. I'm sure he'll delight everyone with another great album. Anyways, getting back on track, what was Teen Top's following album? Teen Top then released their first mini album, Roman. And they captivated all the older female fans with the title track, Stone Spray Perfume. That song was composed by the hit composer, Pang Si Hyuk. And it was about a guy who cheats on his girlfriend, who's around the same age as him, with an older woman. 
They mesmerize countless older female fans, just like how Eason Yi did with Girl, You're My Girl and Shiny with Girl, You're So Pretty. Well, Berlin, yes. have you ever dated a younger guy? <laughs> uh, mm, you know, I've never thought of that though, but to be honest, I prefer older guys. But you know, who knows, you know, yeah. I might change, you know, it's all about love anyway. Right. What about you, Lim? Yeah, just like you said, it's all about love. But as long as if he's mature, I think it's fine. I guess. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, anyways, this song, although it, although it was very addictive and popular, doesn't tell a good story. Mm -hmm. I mean, a guy che cheating on his girlfriend—that's totally wrong. I know, right? Come on, guys. Just have your eyes set on one girl. So true. Well, Teen Top then returned with their second mini album, and this album took their nation by storm. Teen Top returned with the song Crazy, composed by the hit maker Brave Brothers. It received a lot of love for their club sound and refined beat. Yes, they reached the top spot on music programs for the first time with this song. Right, Brave Brothers who produced this album said, Teen Top can maximize anything that they have given. That's why I want to produce their albums. Well, they must have been delighted to hear such a compliment from the hit maker. Now, after gaining so much popularity and success with Crazy, Teen Top released their much-anticipated third mini-album. They promoted the sensuous dance song, To You, which was the title track of their album. You know the humming sound in the intro? Mm -hmm. It was so catchy. Right. And they also gave their own red rendition of the bunny dance that was popular in the 80s and the powerful and sexy dance move took the nation by storm. And I heard you're gonna sing for us today. Yes, I'm going to sing Teen cool. Tops to you. I hope you like it. Let's hear it. Woo! Thank you. It's like me, it's me, it's every day, yeah. The mommy up on a day. Tap, tap, my money, got a lay up to now. It's like me, it's me, it's every day, yeah. Now I'm just a party in a day. Now I'm in a tea, I'm already somewhere hand in day. Thank you. You really? know, your version was a little different right, from the yeah. original, but I guess our pop viewers loved it. Thank you. Wow, it was actually a little high. It's a guy song, but the tone was a little high. Well, it was a st still a great song. It's great, it's great. Yes, I'll practice more in the future. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Teen Top who emerged as a hot icon in the K-pop industry, with their songs becoming smash hits, released a summer special album. They made many girls' hearts flutter with the song Be My Girl. Right, and just two weeks after completing the promotion for To You, they returned to stage with the song Be My Girl, and they caught everyone's attention and caught everyone's eyes with their natural yet masculine look. This song became popular as a love confession song for people in their teens and in their 20s. You know, if someone like Teen Top were to say, be my girl. <laughs> I bet no one could resist. I know. How can you say no, right? Right. Well, and oh, Ferlin, before right. we move on, I just uh -huh. want to say that I heard you were famous in Singapore for your dancing skills. So, why don't you show us your dancing skills here on Pops and Soul? Okay. Um, show us your um, Teen Tops dance moves. <laughs> okay, you know, but I'm not that famous, just a little. <laughs> just oh, like still. Don't okay. be so humble. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys the dance move to Be My Girl. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it off perfectly. Thank you. I wish I could have done better. No, it was already good enough. <laughs>
<laughs> well, anyways, getting back to the topic, after causing a stir with "Be My Girl,"、mm-hmm. Teen Top finally released their first studio album in 2013. Right, they released their first full-length album after being in the industry for two and a half years. The title track "Miss Right" has sweet melody and lyrics, and Teen Top showed an upgraded performance routine for this song. Yeah, well, all the Teen Top who wowed everyone with their unique concepts, transformations, and spe- spectacular performances returned recently with the song "Rocking." It's already receiving an explosive response from the music lovers. You know, Teen Top has shown improvements、um, and growth every time they release a new album. And that is why everyone is looking forward for their comeback. That's right. And Team Top successfully completed their five-city tour in Europe in February this year. Wow! And now they're planning a tour in Asia, which will kick off in Taiwan this coming November. So I hope they will captivate even more fans all around the world and also Asia.、Mm-hmm. Why don't we take a look at one of their music videos to show them our support? Sure. Let's take a look at the music video for "Rocking," a song that creates an exciting party atmosphere. So here, here we, we go. go. Wow, their group dance moves are amazing. I'm sure our viewers had their eyes glued to the screen. Well, let's wish Team Top the best of luck in their future activities. And now we're going to ask you a question about a K-pop star. And you get to enjoy a nice music video at the end of our show. It's time for K-pop, K-pop quiz. Well, there's a prize for one of you who gets the correct answer. So listen closely. So, what's the question? All right, here it goes. Many girl group members appeared in Teen Top's music video as the female lead, like Lizzie from After School, who appeared in the Cat music video. Now here's the question: Which member of Four Minute appeared in the music video for the hit song Crazy? Well, where can our viewers send in their answers? Go to our Arirang TV homepage and leave us your answers. Not forgetting to send us your song requests and please do feedback on our show. And now, what's the last music video for today? Is it Popping? By a five-member girl group, Four Minute, that captivates the audience in just four minutes. All right then, let's say goodbye for now. Bye. Bye.